Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy X! Let's leave Besaid Island. Even though we just got here about half an hour ago, but... Well, there's not a whole lot to do around here, so let's head on out then. And we're going to be getting used to a lot of... Well, yeah, I suppose a lot of new party members here, so we're going to show them off a little bit. Remember the path to get back to the village here? Because we're going to be coming back here later on in the game. Let's put that new sword to use. Here comes one now. Hey, why don't you try out that sword I gave you? Seems pretty easy to me. Sure, why not? No problem. One shot. Not too shabby. You kept up with him pretty well. Well, he just kind of sat there. Kind of rolled over for me. That was it. All right, right, let's take this guy on. Kind of customer. Now, Waka is actually, his specialty is essentially dealing with flying monsters. He also can do some debuffs, but uh, we'll get into that later. But yeah, really the reason why Waka is good against flying monsters is not because of some innate ability or something that they automatically give him. It's just that his accuracy stat is really high and flying monsters have a lot of evasion. Kind of like my side LP now that I think about it. Uh, Titus actually has pretty good or not well, yeah, agility, but he also has pretty good accuracy, too, so he can also deal with flyers a little bit himself. Not as reliably as uh, Waka can, though. Whoa! Only magic can beat that thing. That's... you can't beat him down, you gotta use magic? Element? Let's have our black mage show you what I mean. Sorry, I didn't mean to skip through that too quickly. Whatever. Clueless, aren't you? Good thing I'm here. Okay, so anyway, yeah, we got in this game, unlike previous games in the series, the four basic elements are fire, ice, lightning, and water. I get fire and ice, but what about lightning and water? Lightning and water are opposed, just like fire and ice. So yeah, it's not like a rack, paper, scissors sort of thing. It's just two elements are opposed and two other elements are opposed. There's more than that, but for now, it's this is what we got. Since we're dealing with water monsters, we use thunder on them. Hooray! Yeah, we're not gonna be overkilling monsters for a little while, so. Oh wow. Oh, you know, there is one thing I wanna do. I wanna set Titus's overdrive gauge to. Uh, loner, if I can. Please don't forget by the time this cutscene is over. Time. Can you remind me, viewers, from the future to switch my overdrive mode for Titus? I will hear you. Let's get going, man. We're gonna wait. Huh? For what? Are you ready? <laughs> We're gonna wait two seconds and... Then we'll go. Okay, that works too. What's going on? You're not going to tell me, are you? Oh, right! I need to change my overdrive gauge. Thanks for reminding me, viewers. Okay, so we got the loner overdrive mode. We want to set that. It's an ancient custom. People leaving the island pray here for a safe trip. What makes this thing so special? Chapu didn't pray that day. Said he'd miss his boat. Oh, now I bet he wished he did, apparently. Hmm. Uh, sure, let's pray. Why not? Maybe that'll help. Couldn't hurt. That should do it. Which way do we go now? Uh, oh, this way. Yeah, you can tell by the little marker on the map there. Or mini map. Let's see what we got over here. Huh? Whoa! Hey, uh, while you're up there, could you get one of those chests that has an endgame weapon in it for me? 
please? No? Oh, yeah, we're not gonna be able to do anything there for a while. Oh, wow. Now you've just pissed them off. Okay, so, first things first. We want to get cheer on Petus here. So let's do that. Oh, uh, I want to cheer up to five times there. To max it out. So that way, we can overkill this guy. And we'll get more items from him. Have I seen him before? I thought I saw him earlier. Let's see what is that? Four? I think that's four. Ow. Oh, he's a dragoon. Something. Okay, I think that's five. Hmm. You know, I think I better do it one more time just to be safe. So I want to make sure I can get the overkill. And I really would rather not have to re-record because I screwed up. Let's see now. No, I already had done it. Okay, never mind then. Okay, come on! Woo! Gotta overkill! That's enough! Whew! Barely survived that one. Uh, what's with that guy? Kimari Ronso, of the Ronso tribe. He's learned the fiend's way of fighting. Why can't we That's do that? That's not what I meant. He's another Yuna's guardian. Huh? Oh. <laughs> Sometimes we don't understand him either. Kimari doesn't talk much anyway. Mm. But he has protected me since I was a child. Hmm. Okay, so anyway, yeah, in order to overkill Kamari there, you have to deal 300 damage with your finishing blow. And as a result, we get more ability spheres there, so... Alright. Now that we've defeated Kamari, well, there's something else we can do back at uh, Besaid there. So let's head on back there. Another one of those Albed messages there. But yeah, um, I'm pretty sure that defeating Kamari is the trigger for this. You go to the left... Well, you can't do a whole lot there, so don't worry about that. Remember where we fought Kamari there, because I'll just come back there off screen. I just want to show you how to get back to uh, the village here real quick. I don't know why defeating Kamari unlocks this, but, well, that's just what I know. Okay, so now that we've defeated him, if you go back to the item shop here, they sell weapons! So yeah, let's go do that then. We want to get a power ball for Waka that'll boost his strength by 3%. So let's do that and equip. Then we'll get a magical mog for Lulu to boost her magic stat there. Oh, you know, I almost forgot with uh, Yuna there. We want to equip her with the Rod of Wisdom that we got earlier there. So, do that. And let's see, we also want to get some armor here too. Boosts HP by 5%. So let's do that for Titus, Yuna, Waka, and Lulu. Okay, and let's get rid of all of our uh, excess stuff here. We don't really, or wait a minute. Oh, right, yeah, I did get new stuff, right. Yeah, we don't need to hold on to the old stuff. Now, one thing that's kind of interesting about Final Fantasy X with the equipment is that they don't have innate stats, like a weapon would have attack power, or uh, armor would have defense power, or whatever. No, no, the only difference between one weapon or armor from another is the abilities that they have. And, well, we'll go over that at how to use that as time goes on. For now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get back to where we fought Kamari, and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Oh, and uh, one thing I want to do with Titus, let's get him back to uh, stoic mode, since, well, we're not going to be alone anymore. 
But yeah, you see up top there? Yeah, there's treasure up there, but well, we can't get to that for quite some time. Not until, like, practically the end of the game, so... Oh, well. They're just kind of teasing you like this. Why do you do this to me, game? Well, it's Final Fantasy X. Oh! I like the battle transition in this game with the screen shattering like that. A flyer! That's your department, right? Oh, it's pretty big. True, true. But, uh... A little too big for me. let our summoner show us what she's made of? Or we could do that. Sure, why not? So yeah, one thing new to Final Fantasy series is that you can switch in reserve party members in the middle of battle. So I really like how they did that. Kind of like Final or er, Dragon style. Warrior Four. Show us what your training has taught you, Yuna. Okay. And it works really well in this game because each character has their own unique uh, properties or benefits. So, let's give it a try. So yeah, summons in this game, they remove all of your characters from the party, and they literally take place of your entire party there. So, let's see what we can do against this guy. So, let's see. I want to use boost, so that way I can charge up my over drive gauge here and try to put that new one to use. You could just attack him directly over and over and over again and that would work eventually too. But well, I'm not going to do that. Let's see, can I even overkill this guy? I don't think I can. No, no he's got way too much HP. But I still want to boost anyway to, boost, to charge up my overdrive gauge. Because I want to use that for boss fights and such. So yeah, that's one thing you really want to do in Final Fantasy X. Is make sure you keep your Aeon's overdrives fully charged. So that way you can use them for boss fights to overkill them. Because a lot of times your main party members just aren't going to have enough firepower to do that on their own. So let's see, let's use Thunder on him. Uh, one thing about Final Four, he has access to the basic four elemental spells. So, Yuna isn't going to be completely hosed on offense. Even though she's basically a white mage. One other thing to uh, keep in mind, also, is that uh, Yuna's stats influence the power of your Aeons. So, just something to keep in mind there. So yeah, even if you're boosting strength for her, it affects her Aeons, not just herself. I don't know that much about using Aeons, I just know enough to use them well throughout the game. But like, I don't know like the absolute best way to customize or do anything else with Aeons or whatever, I just... You know, know how to use them when we are forced to use them. So, but yeah, overall, Aeons, they're basically useful for overkilling and stuff, and that's about it. But, all right, got it. Oh, a variable mod. Did, didn't I already get that for Lulu? Oh. Well, I guess you got an empty slot there. Now, I know what you're thinking, viewers. H.C. Bailey, what do those empty slots on the equipment do? Well, later on, we're going to be able to customize abilities for them. But that's not going to be for quite some time. So I wouldn't worry about that right now. Another one of those. Now, let's see another way no that we problem. can take care of this guy. Me, Say good night, buddy. Well, what are you going to do, Waka? Well, if you use Waka's dark attack... Yeah, you can inflict blind on it, and that way we can. Uh, he, his physical attacks won't be able to do a whole lot against us. Let's bring in Titus now to get some extra offense here. I might bring in Yuna later on after someone gets hit to heal up a little bit. Hey, that kind of run. Oh, right, no one's going to uh, take damage. Okay. Well, anyway, what I want to do. Yeah, whack him upside the head. 
<laughs> I just like the, the sound effect it made. Kind of reminded me of uh, Porum whacking Palum upside the head. <laughs> But yeah, one thing to keep in mind with Final Fantasy X, unfortunately, is that reserve party members do not get ability points unless you actually did something with them. So you basically want to swap in every character for every battle, so that way everyone can get credit for participating in the battle. So yeah, it's kind of annoying, but oh well. Not the end of the world, but yeah. I guess it does force you to mix it up a little bit. Okay, let's uh, see what we can do with our party now that we've gotten some more stuff there. Let's see, flee is actually a pretty good ability. Uh, there's going to be times when we will want to be running from battles here. Let's see, Waka, let's get a little. Let's see what that one does. Two more agility, nice. Agility basically determines how fast you get your turn. And let's get that. That ought to be useful. Um, yeah, we ought to be pretty good for now. Well, we've almost made it off the island. Wow, it's a pretty big island. Too bad we couldn't just go back the way we came. Whoa! Got a whole bunch of these guys this time. Okay, let's see. We want to take out that guy? Yeah. Okay, let's see. Now, we got a, uh, let's see, Condor there. Now, even though that is Waka's type of enemy, so to speak, I'm going to have Lulu kill that one. So, let's go do that. You see, now that we've got Yuna in our party with Sensor, we can see that the Condor is weak to fire. So, let's do that. Overkill. Yeah, you see, that's why I wanted to use Lulu to kill that guy. <laughs> yeah, because if I had Waka kill that guy, Waka does, doesn't quite have firepower to overkill that guy. So you'll get less items from it. So I'm just pressing triangle to get to Lulu's turn here, and then finish off this guy. So yeah, you don't always want to kill enemies with the supposed character who's best for it. There's sometimes that other characters are actually better, even though it's not, like, their type of enemy to deal with. So, but I like how they did that and handled that in the game. Uh, beam? Ah, there we go. Yeah, you can't go down to the right anymore, either. I mean, you can go there, but I don't think you can jump down there and fight piranhas. So, if you missed out on those ability spheres and you're playing the PS2 version, you're screwed! Oh, wow. But can we make it safely to wherever the hell we're going with this boat? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy X. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.